It is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. I have a beautiful song for you today. We're going to learn how to play All I Want Is You uh, by U2. So this is tuned down a half step. Um, so I'll get those notes in the description. If you don't know how to tune down the guitar, every string down a half step, they will be in the description for you. Um, it also makes it a little bit easier to sing, especially at the ending when he starts really belting it out. Um, if you sing along when you, when you play. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's pretty simple chords here, and what I'm doing here is kind of halfway what he's doing on the studio recording, with that kind of subdued intro. Um, and then this is he, he's using some, some effects and, and stuff on the electric guitar uh, stuff on the album and live. So this is kind of an acoustic version. I'm kind of marrying the two. I'm going to do some of the... Some of that stuff that he does live um, and, and on the recording and stuff. Um, but it's some stuff that really high, we'll just kind of skip it. It sounds great either way. So let's start here. Before I do, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I always forget to say that. And ring that little notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And check out my Guitar Academy at GuitarLessons365.com. A lot of fun stuff there. All right, we're going to start here uh, with this intro, which is really just based off two simple chords. Um, and he does some variations throughout. Now, we're going to start with just an A major here. And at the beginning of the song, he just uses his thumb to give it a really subdued sound. So I'm kind of hiding my pick here, uh, tucked in uh, my middle finger there. So, And I'm just using my thumb. Um, just play that A, and when he's leaving the A, a lot of times in this intro, he's going to lift up the finger on the B string to make it an A sus 2 chord real quick, and then he'll just jump to a D major chord. And once again, in the beginning, when he's playing this D, he kind of doesn't really make it a full major chord a lot of the time. Sometimes he will, but uh, you don't need that high E string in there. You just just the D, G, and the B string there. So it's just back and forth between those two chords. You want diamonds on a ring of gold. So just like that. So, so the variations he's doing is sometimes he's just kind of go between that and the sus2 and the same thing he'll do on the D. To just have that the note on the high E string, if you play that, and then sometimes uh, just the open high E to make it a D sus2. Alright, so we do that a few times. And 
And then we go to basically what would be the, the uh, pre-chorus. Um, now that's a full bar at the second fret there. So do a full bar at the second fret and then hold the fourth fret on the A and the D. It's an F sharp minor chord. So from there we go to back to the D, then back to the F sharp minor. To the back to the D, and back to the A and D. When all I want is you. So that whole pre-chorus, but all the promises we made from the cradle to the grave. When all I want is you. All right, and now we have, um, I just when I switch to the pick, and we have that cool little guitar riff. Now he's being helped by a delay pedal, adding some delays there. So, uh, we don't really need that. We can kind of do all the picking ourselves and still make it sound pretty close to it. So that starts with that A major chord. And all I'm doing is creating that melody on the B string by picking up my pinky. And so, so I'm just strumming the chord. So that's pretty easy. Down, down. Alright, and then we're going to do the same thing kind of off on the D chord. So that just goes from the second fret on the high E string, then pick it up, open high E, and then back. So we have this. And then we're back to the U C. Now here, since I got the pick, it sounds a little bit, a little bit, a little bit louder. A highway with no one on it. Treasure just to look upon it. All the riches in the night. And here he starts doing this little uh, melodic thing, um, which sounds fine on the acoustic too. You're gonna come up here and do this. You say, you give me eyes and a moon of blindness, a river in a time of dryness, a harbor in the tempest, where all the promises. That takes us to the uh, pre course again. So now this is just going to be the open A string. You're gonna hold a bar across the B string at the fifth fret on, on the across the B and the high E string. So we have this open A string, you're gonna let these ring out, and then the B string, high E string, so we have pick that again, so we have and then the third time through, pick the open A and then just the B string. So we have this. Then you're gonna do the same thing, except this time you're going to have the open D string is going to be the note that you're gonna pick in the bass. So now, not the easiest thing in the world to pick something like that and sing. So hopefully, if that's difficult, you have a singer that can sing. So you give me eyes and a moon of blindness. So it's just going from the the A and then the D. And you see I kind of come over and sometimes grab the thumb on that A string to mute it. Alright, so from there we get all the promises. So we're back now just doing full strumming on the uh, the chords that we did before for the pre-chorus. Is you. 
then back to that cool guitar riff. So we're pretty much, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and then that at the end of the song where he's just really belting it, he's really just going between that A and that D. All I want is you. back and forth between the A and the D um, and, and just you know have fun with this kind of blast out and then they add a lot of orchestration and stuff to it but this is an acoustic version we don't have to do all this stuff all right so it's a great song pretty simple chords um, and this kind of is kind of a little bit different arrangement kind of combining what he does live but with an acoustic version but with the album version so whatever hope you can make sense of it uh, this is uh, Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. I'll see you again soon.